What's going on everybody? Welcome to G-Miles World and I'm gonna tell you right now you have never seen something like this in any NFL game ever What you're about to experience in this game right here now. Whoa, 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 bro This guy's coming out to freaking be defensively dominant against me, bro I don't know who this guy is, but I'm gonna tell you right off the bat. I think this guy's a total bum um, That's before the game even starts So go ahead and like the video and sit back get your popcorn ready. No T.O. Let's go ahead and jump into it I'm gonna give you some insight in, in, into what's about to happen um, this guy's gonna come out and he's gonna start running wham uh, Somewhere along the third quarter stuff like that as you guys know Wham out, out of deuce close. It's supposed to be some kind of glitchy play whatever like that But I got the D though. I got the D But let me explain to you what happens when you got the D as I get sacked like a bum right there When you have the D and you go from game to game in Madden what happened? Oh, oh nice throw big Ben um, I, I kind of bullet pass it. If I'd have lobbed it, that'd probably been a touchdown. Um, but listen, when you come out right and you have a defense that works against certain things, like right here, he's running power O, right? And I know that the defense that I was in right there, it wasn't the right defense. But I ran it again to make sure because you don't really know until you you, you got to keep experimenting from game to game because it just depends on what EA is ready to give you. You know what I'm saying? It's not about the defense that you're picking. And that's why I see a lot of you guys like, yo, bro, I didn't know that stopped that. I didn't know that stopped that. It probably doesn't. Like, look, at he just running right through everybody. Look at that. You see that? that th these things are going to happen game to game. And we have to say to ourselves, all right, now that we know what EA is up to, what can we do to stop it? What can we do to say, you know what, bro? It doesn't make any sense that this is happening, so I'm going to adjust. That's the biggest thing that I want my viewers to know. You, we have to adjust. And sometimes, even with the adjustments, we're going to get blown out. We take our loss. We move on. Because that's what the game is. We Look, I'm going to tell you this right now. Wh who was blocking that guy? Why was that guy just right off the block like that? It doesn't really matter. I've played games, right, where a dude will come out running a play that I have the specific defense for. And I will not stop that guy for the entire game and get blown out. And then the next game, I will run the same defense and it will work. And I know, like the video, if that happens to you, it's not you, bro. Stop thinking that it's you. That's just the way the game is. That's what I'm saying. That's why with competitive Madden, they run specific formations. They don't change up what they're doing and they have exactly what they're going to run and that's it. They don't go, like, you know, Skimbo will run bunch, you know, it, it, uh, doubles on for other dudes that, that run, you know, certain, certain formations. You got guys that'll come out, be under center trips, under center four wide receivers. They won't change it. Because they, all right, right there, I thought I could throw, I, I threw a bullet pass again. I don't know why I did that. I'm supposed to throw a high. You got to throw that high right there. But, bro, I, I might like throwing picks. Oh, and pick sixes. Oh, oh, he got the moves like Jagger. Okay, okay. Yo, run up for six real quick. Okay. Um, so, again, when you come out and these things are happening, you got to be ready to change up whatever you're doing. Okay? And that's the biggest issue. Like, right here, Big Ben is garbage. That should be a touchdown. But Big Ben is a bum. I know that. So I don't expect anything from Big Ben. You know what I'm saying? Other than this dot right here for six. So as we continue to go on with the game, you see I was down 14-3. And you saw in the beginning, I couldn't stop him. You guys saw that, right? You see how my guy just drops on the ground as soon as the ball snapped? I don't know what that is. Um, but I, I'm not even going to put it in to, you know, let EA know to try to fix it because then something else is going to happen. That doesn't, you know, it's going to be more and more wild. So, but why is this guy just running straight backwards? These guys are really weird. Every time I play these guys, I, I don't even know what they're thinking sometimes, bro. Like a guy will hike, oh, how is he running right through my guy's body? A guy will hike the ball and run straight backwards, throw the ball off his back foot and not care about anything. And it'll be a dot. I, I, look, I can't explain why it happens. I'm not in the business of trying to explain why it happens. All I'm telling you is it does happen and don't rage uncontrollably control the rage and then let's figure out what we're going to do to, you know, to get better because if we keep raging uncontrollably, somebody, look, bro, I, I don't, I, I'm going to tell you right now, when I play this game, I see red. All right. So I don't think that you're supposed to see red, but that's what I see. You know what I'm saying? Because the things that go on as we get sticky right there, um, I don't know if it's good for human consumption. And again, uh, the people that are giving the suggestions, like for instance, you have pro players that are asking for penalties in month. And then now there's a holding call back to back. Dudes are doing like, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's crazy now. Now you got first and 50 because dudes dudes are asking for things that they shouldn't be asking for. Should they be passing interference in month? Probably if a guy is throwing them to the ground, but you pay money for your cards. You, they had the right idea. 
to make it a free for all. If you want to make it for the modes that you compete in, um, you know, salary cap and stuff like that, that's fine. But Mutt head to head is all money spent. Nobody's trying to have holding penalties and a face mask when you make a tackle in a key third down. Like, you see what I'm saying? But again, dudes will ask for it and they'll get it. And EA will listen to the people that they're not supposed to be listening to. And that's how we get a lot of the issues that go on. What I'm pushing for is that they put out a game and don't do nothing, don't do nothing to it. Unless it's like a QB walk from Madden 09 where a dude becomes invisible and just runs it for six. Don't do anything. Let everybody deal with the game that's been put out. And let's see how that works. Because, you know, I, I, yo, if there was one thing that I could tell you right now, Madden 16 at launch, like he's running without the ball again. Madden 16 at launch was probably one of the best Maddens ever. And they patched it. And the same patch action, 17 and now 18, has been completely, it's been manipulating the characteristics of the game to make it not as good as it's supposed to be. And then people make excuses, and then they're like, oh, bro, you know, you should do this now. You see what I'm saying? And then you keep adding to it, and then before you know it, it just doesn't make any sense at all now. Now it's just a wrap. It's over. Nothing makes sense. That's why I'm pushing, like, look, I would rather deal with whatever is launched than to have to deal with these patches that I know are going to do things to the game that just doesn't make sense. And, um, you know, as we go forward... Uh, I don't know what to look forward to. You see what I'm saying, bro? Because now with these penalties in the game, and then you got the user strip back, where dudes are just stripping uh, LaDainian Tomlinson. I was playing some weekend league games yesterday. I was giving up like two to three strips a game. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I was in a bloody rage, bro. Like, I, I already told my family, listen, don't talk to me. They're like, what? What's going on? I'm like, yeah, I'm playing Madden. They're like, all right, we're gonna see you later. We're gonna go to the mall or something. Because I got, look, bro, I don't want nobody talking to me when I'm playing Madden. And that's the only game that, I could, that, that I'm like that with. You know what I'm saying? And it's probably not a good thing, but. I'm sure that a lot of you guys do that as well. Just make sure you control yourselves and don't do anything really crazy, and uh, especially to anybody else. Just rage within yourself. Don't don't do and, and only break things that belong to you. Don't be in your boy's house playing the game and rage and start breaking his stuff. And now you're gonna get your ass whipped. And then now you see what I'm saying. Now now Madden has also gotten you into a situation that you have to get yourself out of. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't really go with that like that. But it's okay to rage a little bit because the game does things that like what is that? Why why is he? Yo, he's, what? Why he spin moving? Bro, whatever, man. What is this right here? Dot? What, what do you, what? I, 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 look, I'm just looking at it just the same way you guys are. I'm, I'm in fascination just looking like what kind of play was I running? Because I'm, I'm running a lot of bum plays right now. Um, did he get the first down at least? Because I love, oh yeah, second and inches. That's EA's favorite thing. And then when you get to the end zone, you always stop on the one. Even if you run right into the end zone, they put you back to the one. Because they just like that whole excitement of you not being able to score from the one. And they love the whole excitement of the fact that the QB sneak rarely works now. So, you know, you're going to have to do something else. And you're probably going to throw a pick for six. This game is really, really crazy, bro. It really is. Right here, we're just going to throw this hot one. We're just going to throw a hot one, bro. Like, on the run, we're just going to throw a hot one. Like, that, that's what we got to do at this point. It's only time for hot ones, bro. That's it. So, now that we're in the red zone, and um, we know that this is the most impossible place to score... We're going to run play. Okay, why did I... I could have probably made that on the outside. I probably definitely could, but it's just the way that... Like, right here, I think I'm going to go to the left. And then if I would have stayed outside right there, I think Talib would have still broke off that edge. It's just like you do, you question yourself because you don't know exactly what EA has in store for you. And you just try to figure out the best way. But it's fourth down, and we clutch. We clutch. And that's what we got to do. We just got to make sure. And he held on to that. And I was, I was excited about that because usually what happens is your guy runs around in a circle and runs away from the ball. I know that's happened to everybody at least once, bro. So don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like when your guy's on a route and then you don't throw it to him right away and then he just starts running around in a circle, then he runs away and stretches his arm out. Yeah, look, man, it, it happens like that. The bottom line about the whole thing, though, is this guy wanted to run wham. So I know that he's not going to be able to score any other way right now. Because he thought that wham was his way to go. And now that it, you know he got 22 seconds, and you see that he's taking the spikes, he's spiking the ball and everything like that. Watch what happens here, though. This is the biggest blunder ever. This dude is really going to spike the ball. I, I thought it was a fake spike. Like, I was trying to play D. I'm like, yo, this guy ain't that dumb. But I don't know. Do you have? Is, is there a fake spike that you could do out of the uh, audibles? I don't know. But I thought this was a fake spike. On 4th of 29, he really spiked the ball. He re Yo, he really just spiked it. And that's the end of the game. I cannot believe this guy did this. But... This is a guy that EA would make beat me. A guy that spikes the ball on fourth down. I was supposed to lose this game. I'm just being honest about it. Like, it's not like I'm excited about anything else within this game because I raged uncontrollably throughout this entire game. But I was supposed to lose this game to a guy that doesn't know that if you spike the ball, 
it counts as a down. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. Was this the biggest blunder you've ever seen? Let me know. Drop a like. Share. Subscribe. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. It's always and forever. One love.